Hey guys, the Tamman here doing what I love, and welcome back to another episode of the 2020 NFL Season Weekly Predictions. Last episode we did week 16, and today we'll be doing the final week of the regular season, week 17. Before I go into today's video, I just want to say thank you for all the support um, for this year. This is one of my last videos of 2020. It's been a crazy year. I just want to say thanks for the constant support on these prediction videos, the man-to-man -man coverage podcast, the live streams I've done. Um, I have a new plan for 2021 that I will upload pretty soon, but I just want to say thanks for the support. It means a lot to everyone who has watched. Um, it's been a good year of growth for the channel. And also prayers and good thoughts to all of those who have had a really just bad year. Here's to hoping for a great new year. So, reviewing week 17, I went 9-7 and seven on my predictions. I really struggled with a lot of these. Um, in terms of the AFC, the Chargers did win, but so did the Jets. They now had two wins, and I feel happy for Jets players. You know, I'm not Jets or Jaguars fans, you know, but I'm happy for the Jets players to win some games. I'm sure that feels very rewarding. So, we had them winning, and then... The Dolphins won a crazy game against the Raiders on Saturday. That was a really um, insane win. The Steelers came back and won, so I got that one incorrect. And the Bengals won. Looking pretty good recently. So the AFC was just super interesting. The Bills did dominate the Patriots on Monday night. I haven't watched that much of that game, but Stefan Diggs is crazy. AFC, NFC. Chiefs beat the Falcons. It was close. Uh, the Bears did win, and I got the other two games correct. Green Bay looked very dominant. And in NFC, we had Alvin Kamara have a huge win to help the Saints on Christmas Day. The Niners did win, as did the rest of these teams. So, overall, we've had a lot of playoff scenarios. Seahawks won the West. Uh, the NFC West, Steelers won the AFC North. Bucks won the NFC South. Just a lot of things going on here this week. And week 17 is big. There's a lot of playoff implications going into this week. Um, it's crazy. There's a lot of games. Uh, a lot of teams in terms of the AFC Colts, Titans, um, Ravens, Dolphins, Browns. Are all teams that could possibly get in or out. That's what I want to begin here in the AFC calm. Uh, week 17 is all division matchups. So... Um, let's go here with Ravens and Bengals. I think Cincinnati's season ends with a loss. I think Baltimore wins. It's winning in for the Ravens. I think that, you know, usually sometimes the Bengals Week 17 like to play spoiler. But I think for me, uh, this game, they're just well equipped. Lamar Jackson has had extremely good success against the Bengals in his career. Um, you know, Cincinnati's been doing some nice things recently, but I just don't think they catch up, and I think the Ravens win. Dolphins-Bills, this is interesting, because Miami's trying to get into the playoffs. Bills win their division, but Dolphins trying to get in. Now, the thing about this is, the Bills are playing for something. I'm going with Buffalo. I might have gone Miami last week, but I just thought the Bills coming out and really dominating New England shows that this Bills team is very steady. They looked really good recently. And the Dolphins' defense is nice, but I think at times their offense struggles. I could see this being a high-scoring close game, but I'm going Buffalo. I don't know if Miami's out of the postseason. If they're out, it's unfortunate. I do like their defense. This Dolphins' defense is great, but their offense, I just think, is like two steps away. Steelers-Browns. Pittsburgh is resting, Mason, uh, resting Ben Roethlisberger, so we'll see Mason Rudolph. I think Cleveland wins. The Steelers' offense has been really stagnant at times these past couple weeks, and Cleveland, I think, will bounce back here after the loss to the Jets with some COVID issues. Chargers Chiefs, um, I don't know. I mean, this is just kind of a toss-up. Kansas City's the number one seed. That's something that did happen last week. Los Angeles, uh, Justin Herbert broke the passing touchdown for rookies and I'll take Los Angeles here they almost beat them in week two I think that was Herbert's like first game that feels crazy that was this season um the Chiefs are resting Mahomes Chad Henney I believe is starting I think it'll be a high scoring game but I'll go with the Chargers 
Jaguars Colts, it's, I think, winning in for Indianapolis. They need to win. I think they will. Jacksonville has looked poor across the board. The Jaguars are getting the number one spot. They are getting Trevor Lawrence. Uh, no, not they are not getting him, but for sure. But the Jaguars have the number one spot in the draft. So unless they trade it or don't take Trevor Lawrence, it, that could not happen. But um, for me... They have the number one spot, and I will do um, a mock draft video here fairly soon. Jets, Patriots, uh, both teams have nothing to play for. Um, I think New England won against New York. Um, I mean, I, I don't know. Cam, I think, will end the season with a nice win. Um, definitely an interesting year for both teams, but I'll go Patriots. Not really that much investment I have in this matchup, but I think it'll be fun. Uh, Titans, Texans. This is interesting because Houston's defense is really poor, but Tennessee, you know, their offense has been great, but Houston has been kind of up and down recently. I think Derrick Henry is going to run his way to victory. I could see this potentially being close, like Watson and crew could pull off an upset, but I think the Titans come in and win um, by at least two scores. Also, if you have not checked out the J.J. Watt speech he made at a post-game press conference, it's incredible. And the last... AFC game here of Week 17 will be the Raiders and the Broncos, Las Vegas and Denver. Um, Drew Locke, he's been very up and down. Derek Carr for me is, and the Raiders have been up and down. This is really tough. Um, I, you know, I'll go with the upset. I'll go with the Broncos. I'll say the Broncos end the season with a win. But everyone, that will do it for the AFC column this week, and we'll see this again in the postseason. Overall, those are my picks. Um, the only ones I could see getting upset are possibly the uh, the Broncos Raiders game, Texans Titans, Jets Patriots, and maybe the Chiefs win. But that's what I'm going with for AFC. There are no AFC versus NFC games this week. The next time we'll see one is a Super Bowl. NFC Packers Bears. Chicago really needs to win, but. I don't think they do. I think Green Bay actually wins this one. I know that's a very big claim to have. But I just don't trust this Bears team. Um, Mitchell Trubisky in this offense, they've been playing nice. That's good. But they've been doing it against really poor defenses. I just, Aaron Rodgers has been fantastic. He's my MVP. How interesting the MVP race has kind of gone with Rodgers, then Wilson, then Mahomes, and Allen, and it's just been so fun. But for me, I just think the Bears win. I think Aaron Rodgers outduels Mitchell Trubisky in this Bears defense. That has been good, but I just like Green Bay. I'm not buying into the Chicago hype recently. Um, Tampa Bay, Atlanta, Falcons, Buccaneers. I don't know if Tampa Bay is playing for anything, but I'll go with them. I feel so bad for Atlanta. They just have had trouble closing games. Is Matt Ryan's time up? I don't know, but I'm going with Tampa Bay. They just look like the better team recently. They had a really nice win against the Lions. Um, this Eagles game is actually going to be Sunday night, so we'll skip this one. Um, we'll talk about the NFC East. So here's how the NFC East works. Basically, if either... So basically, if Washington loses... The winner of this Cowboys-Giants game will be the division winner. But if Washington wins, they win the division. So, I'm picking the Dallas Cowboys to beat the New York Giants. I think that Andy Dalton and his offense have clicked really well recently. CeeDee Lamb, CD Lamb looks fantastic. Um, Tony Pollard seems to be the person getting the better touches over Zeke Elliott. I'm really interested to see if Zeke Elliott gets traded. Really going to be interesting, but anyways, this Dallas offense has clicked, and this Cowboys defense isn't great by any means, but I think they can outscore this New York team. The Giants defense has really struggled recently. Their offense just seems like they're not putting it together, and I have the Cowboys winning this one. Vikings, Lions, um, Detroit, Minnesota, Dalvin Cook. He's not playing. His dad passed away. Rest in peace to him. Very sad news. Prayers out to the Cook family. Um, I'll, I'll still go the Vikings, even though Cook's not playing. I think Minnesota looks great. Detroit, uh, they need a, an overhaul, in my opinion. The Lions, they need 
to fix something their organization has a lot of issues in my opinion. Uh, Saints, Panthers, New Orleans, Carolina. Um, the Saints, I think, will be playing for the number one seed, so I'll go with them over the Panthers. The Panthers are very inconsistent, and they've struggled against division opponents this season. They, uh, the Buccaneers swept them, and they split with the Falcons. They lost to the Saints before. I don't remember the game at all. Oh, like, I barely do, but... I'll go with the Saints over Carolina. Carolina's a very young team, and I just think they could be a really good team next year. And then uh, two NFC West games here, Seahawks 49ers. I think Seattle will be playing for uh, seeding. I'll take them over San Francisco. The Niners have a lot of injuries. Give them credit. They've been playing really good through those injuries, and I think they deserve a lot of credit. But I'm taking the Hawks. And then this Cardinals-Rams game is interesting because this really depends a lot on the playoffs. If the Cardinals win, I don't know if they're in necessarily, but it really helps. Um, I'm going to take the Cardinals over Los Angeles. Kyle Murray will play. Jared Goff, I don't think will. Now they will Koopa Cup. Now prayers to both of them. I hope they feel better. However, when we're talking about the game, John Wolford, actually the former AAFL quarterback for the Arizona Hotshots will be playing for the Rams. So, a very interesting storyline there. For me, Los Angeles, I, I know the Cardinals had trouble with backups this season, but John Wolford has very uh, low to no NFL experience. And I think this Cardinals team is going to go out there and win. This team has been very up and down, but they can bounce back and win the games they need to. That leads us to the NFC East. This is a very tough game to predict. On one hand, I could see Jalen Hurts in going out there Sunday night, his first primetime game, and getting a win. The other half of me can see um, the Washington football team. They cut Dwayne Haskins. The offense... Part of me wants to go for the Eagles. But part of me can also see Washington winning. Do I trust Taylor Heineke? Well, I'm going with Washington for the upset victory. I think they win the NFC East. I'm going with Washington. I think they take home the East and upset win over the Eagles. That's how Washington's season began. And I think they will continue into the postseason with a win over Philadelphia. Everyone, thank you so much. We will continue this series in the postseason, but thank you so much for the support for all these games. Um, now... Basically, this is kind of how I have things going. I'll show you kind of who I am making it. So I have for the AFC, basically the Chiefs, Bills, Steelers, Titans, Ravens, Browns, Colts. I have the Dolphins missing out on things. NFC, I would be the Packers, Saints, Seattle, Washington. Um, the NFC East is going to be super fun to see. Tampa Bay, um, Cardinals. Rams. So the Bears are the team that miss out. That Rams, Cardinals, Bears thing is going to be super interesting to see how it pans out. But everyone, that'll do it for this episode. Um, let's see about fantasy. Um, I am done in this league. The Nintendo Yoshis. It was great to play with my friends, but it looks like I got second. Overall, a very fun league. Thank you to all who joined. It was uh, really an enjoyable time here. And that's how that one will end. And then I got second in my other one. So that's how that one ends. So thank you all for watching. Fantasy football is always fun. And this was a fun series. I'll see you all next time for the playoffs. Until then, this is Mintaman Doran Love. Take care and have a good one. Happy New Year.